Welcome to this short video on LangGuardian File Activity Monitoring. My name is Dara Delaney, I'm Head of Technical Services here at Netfort. I am now logged on to my LangGuardian. So to search for file or folder activity, go to the search page, which may be your default, or click on the search option, top left hand side in the GUI. Under the file activity panel, you can type in either a file or folder name that you're interested in. So I want to track down who removed a file or deleted the file from my network. So I type in the name of the file or folder, press go. So we see here we have an activity associated with this sales forecast spreadsheet. Click the user button on top of the report to find out what user has accessed that file and drill down in the total to get the action, in this case delete. So we've now traced the user who deleted the file, drill down again, to reveal the exact date and time this file was removed from the network. If you want to do more advanced file or folder reporting, click on the reports option and under the Windows Files here section, use the report search by file name. So I can do a number of things here. Firstly, I could select the date range so I could look at file activity from last week or yesterday or the last couple of minutes. Just select whatever time period you want. Under action, you could select, for example, delete. If I run this, it'll show all files which have been deleted from my network over the last hour. Or I could be more specific and say, I want to do a search for any files that have been deleted and end with XLS. So I want a list of all spreadsheets that have been deleted off the network in the last hour. And here we then have a list and we could drill down and get usernames and find out the times the files were deleted. Or I could also do something Show me any files that end with DOC. Show me all Word documents that have been moved around the network in the last hour. Click on view. We find only one file has been accessed. It, over the hour, has been accessed 10 times. Drill down to reveal number of IP addresses. Let's resolve that to usernames. So these users have accessed that file on the network over the last hour. They're all opening the file to read it. And the final example, you can also drill down on traffic. So let me go to dashboards. And the reason you might want to do this is if you have a lot of Microsoft file share traffic moving around your network or flowing across your WAN links and maybe causing a lot of bandwidth utilization, you could drill down on that traffic to find out what is moving around. So here on my network, I've got quite a bit of Microsoft directory service traffic, which file share and print traffic. Broke it down here to a number of very busy clients. Click on the total to reveal the source, the destination. Again, you could have usernames as well by clicking on the button. But I want to get more detail. Drill down again to reveal that it's Windows file share activity. Drill down on the 13 to show, in this case, somebody's been copying a bunch of MP3 files around the network. They've actually been uploading them onto the finance server. Let's find out who. Just view the report with usernames and the resolves to somebody called Sean Tor. So if you have bandwidth issues with file share traffic, use LangGuardian to drill down to find out what files are moving around that's causing the problem in the first place. If you want to learn more about LangGuardian file activity monitoring, please visit our website www.netfor.com where you can also download a free trial of our software so you can start to find out who is accessing files on your network.